Greetings ghosts and ghouls and welcome back to another episode of Undead Gaming. I'm your host as always, the Undead Gamer, and today we are back with Persona 2 Innocent Sin. Now, okay, I'm not even gonna pretend like <laughs> like I was playing this the other day. It's been like, I don't know, like two months or something since I last touched this game. Fortunately, I just rewatched while I was editing the last episode because I just went up sometime this week, hopefully. Um so I kind of know what we did. We defeated Principal Hanya, <laughs> and uh, we're still dealing with the Joker. So yeah, let's continue with that. So hopefully I'll be able to remember how to play this game, and we should be good, right? Yeah, totally. Why not? Sure. So first thing I gotta do is before we leave the school, because once I leave the school, I actually won't have access to this area again. We gotta head over to the second floor to get a quick scene with Noriko in Class 2B. So let's uh, head over there. Uh, well, I guess this is a good way to refresh myself is the actual battle system. Because to be honest, episode 7, which I uploaded Monday, I believe, um, at the time of this recording. Yeah, I believe I uploaded it Monday. Um, boy, I barely remember how to play this game. <laughs> Forgive me, you guys. I, I I will get there. I will definitely rem- Ah, God damn it. I didn't. Did I do it right? I don't even know if I did this right. Okay, sure. Agi, I think that's that. And you- can do Bufu on another one, because I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, sure, go ahead. You guys do your thing. Uh, yeah, do it. Uh, do it on this one, because I'm destroying the other one, apparently. So, I, I recorded episode 7, like, two months ago? Or longer, I think it was in July, so, yeah, like, three, four months ago. So, it has been quite some time. I had to take a bit of a hiatus in recording and editing and uploading um, just from real life stuff so hopefully I'll be back on track but it has been some time so oh, I forgive me if I'm trying to like re-remember how to play the game um, I just so I do know what I have to do it's just like remembering combat and certain things might be a little bit so oh I was already on the second floor so I gotta go to class 2b just to get a pretty quick optional scene with Noriko uh, I don't remember who that is, I just know that's who I've talked to. Um, Bring it on. Okay, sure. I forget, is, there is a way for me to analyze, so let me... What is the weakness of the poltergeist? They are weak to light, and that's pretty much it. And the pixies, they're weak to electricity. Alright, no problem. Do I have... Actually, you know what, let me just go ahead and uh, do the auto. Well, I don't want to do that. Let me just fight. Can't I just auto this? Ugh, gods. <laughs> That's why I kind of like pass through things real quickly. Alright, let's just go ahead and just attack. You know what? Let's just attack with our main thing. Um, maybe maybe we're strong enough that we don't actually have to like use all these magical spells. Oh yeah! I do remember I, I did, like, did miss uh, using Michelle. Too late! Too late. Oh, she's dead. You sure picked on the wrong guys. Wait, oh, I didn't know. I thought Maya was saying that. I'm like, Maya, you didn't do anything. Like, why would you? <laughs> it's so stupid. All right, where the hell is class 2B at, though? Um, How do I rotate? Oh, yeah, there we go. And I remember how to play the game, sort of. Not that this really helped. Wait, doesn't it just tell me? Oh, I'm so dumb. Alright, now I'm gonna start, like, speeding through some of these fights, cuz... Alright, I, I, I just... Okay, so apparently, when I'm running through the thing, it actually tells... Okay, 2B, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm being dumb. Alright. <laughs> Who's Noriko again? I don't actually remember who is Noriko. So I'm gonna try to... F Are you Noriko? The guys are right. He's showing everyone an elementary school name tag that says Hanako, and insisting it's proof that she exists. Oh, the guy who the thing. Oh, okay, I remember. All right, yeah, Noriko. He's the person who sent me on that mission. That's you, right? The one who wanted me to kill the girl or whatever, or the ghost thing. Ah, no one believes me, even when I show them Hanako's name tag. Tell them, senpai. I don't want to tell them anything. Are you who I'm supposed to talk to or not? The curse has been lifted thanks to the principal. Not that I was worried at all. I knew this would happen. All right, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe there isn't a perfect way. Is there some? Oh wait, you, you're Noriko. There we go. I'm about to go look for sister. If you find her, 
Let me know at once. Alright then, please excuse me. Alright, that triggered something. I don't know what that triggered, but that's all we need to. So now we can get out of the school. So, uh, excuse me guys, I'm sure you're all elated that, whatever, your curse is lifted. I think that, I think everyone, yeah, no one has the bandage, so I presume everyone's okay. Even though there's demons running around, which I presume that's not an okay thing. I don't know what the students actually do, because there's just demons running about, but, eh, I'm, I'm not really going to argue with them. So, uh, what do I want to do? Can I just auto? Yeah, just replay. Auto. Oh, they go first. Daru! I, I, I really do love the like the silly like names that um the SMT series has. I mean, Aqua doesn't really mean much. I don't think there actually is normally a water attack. It's always just been Bufu, which is ice. So Aqua is kind of like a lame... Yeah, we kind of we needed a water thing, but... Yeah, it's like Agi, Bufu, uh, uh, Garu, Zio... Hama, and I forgot what darkness is. What is darkness? I know someone has it, but I don't really want to check it. I'm just, I just want to leave. Okay, I think we're about to have an attack. I'm trying to figure out that every, that the, by my map, it turns red when we're about to have a random encounter. You know, should, I should actually realize how to play the game. <laughs> but fortunately, I don't even have to do much, because I think we're more than powerful enough to just body all these enemies with our regular attacks. Even though I keep making Michelle do aqua. But whatever, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, look, he's just like, oh wow, he blocked that. Okay, oh, but he's weak to sword, so that's fine. Sure, whatever. So I also don't remember what I've talked about in the previous Let's Play. So if I repeat myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what stories I've told or whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already told about like, like my different types of Persona games that I've played and everything. Let's get out of here before we get a random encounter. Let me save. Can I actually go back in? I wonder if Cozy's got some info for us. Hey, Tatsuya, let's head to Peace Diner and Yumizaki. Yeah, so we can go back in. So let me go ahead and save the game. Alright, so. Yeah, we can go back in there. So, what am I going... So, she's telling us where we need to go. It's Yumizaki, but I do have some stops I need to make first. So, um... So we gotta go over to the Yumazaki district, but let's go over to Hamaru Park, which is over there. And yeah, I, I think I admitted this before. I do have like a walkthrough open. Listen, this game is lengthy, and I'd rather you guys have like a full experience of everything the game has to offer than me kind of guessing what's going on. I mean, the walkthrough is pretty much just kind of telling me little things like, hey, go over here to get this side quest kind of thing. It's not really like giving me anything else beyond that. So. In case you guys are like, oh, you're using a walkthrough, it's like, alright, I, I I, just want to give you guys a complete experience here. <laughs> huh. The leaves are a nice color this time of year. The lawn is well maintained too. Might as well take a few pictures. You do that. Uh, you know? I feel so bad. I really don't remember everyone's name. Alright, let me let me remind. So, Tatsuya, Michelle, Ginko, or Lisa's her name. Maya and Yuki. Yeah, I was almost close. Yukiko, Yuki. Who are you? Uh, stupid Ginkgo. Going on and on about undies. Alright, bring it on. I'll spend the whole day here with you if that's what it takes. Wait, did she bring us here? I'm pretty sure I was the one who wanted to come here. Why would couples go on a date in such a pretty park to break up? Well, if that's the rumor, then it's probably true now. Hey, I should go on a date with Undie Boss here. Oh, that's why he's pissed off. Okay, whatever, Lisa. <laughs> When Yuki finds some scenery she likes, she always wants to get a picture. She said it's good photography practice. Alright. I'm pretty sure this is the person I gotta talk to, but I'm gonna talk to everyone else first, because that's what I do. Hmm. Now, what does a young boy like yourself want with a homeless man like me? Tokusan. Oh, wow, you have even your, like, summary thing. A homeless man living in Hamaru Park lives on fringes of society for philosophical reasons. Is more intelligent than he seems. Alright. Sure. I'm currently, uh, let's see, I'm currently listening to in on the murmurs of society. Listening to rumors teaches you the lies and deception of the world very clearly. Would you mind telling me any interesting rumors you know? In return, I'll tell you the ones I've heard. What can this old man do for you today? Ooh, alright, so we can actually get, like, some rumors or whatever with him. Um, 
All right, so let's talk with him first and ask about rumors. Let's talk to him. Parks are often called the oasis of cities, and indeed, people who come here gain respite from their stress. It's healthy for them. Not only that, their tongues loosen. Here, one hear, here, one hears what people really think. Thus, I know the miserable state of this world. All right, so let's ask him about some rumors to find out. Weapon shop rumors. For which we ran, rank and die seems to be the only one. That rumor, eh? All right, well then, would you mind sharing your own rumors with me first? Uh, do I even have any rumors to give you? Oh, okay, that was her. Hmm, the principal seven suddenly grew some hair? Hmm, that may have been his request to Joker. Well, my turn then. Do you know of the mall called Lotus here in Ringendai? Sure. The mysterious owner of Time Castle. It seems he's secretly selling real weapons. Their quality and price is average, I hear. He's a rather suspicious man who talks as if he can see through people. He even calls himself a count. So this rumor comes as no surprise. Uh, I love the fact that now that he said that and it's a rumor, it's true. So cool. Um, let's do the armor shop rumors. For Rengadai, since again, the only one. Uh, what secrets do I have? Oh, something terrible has will happen when the clock at 7 start? <laughs> I ho don't suppose the world will end or anything. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Well, then my turn. You're aware, you're aware of the mall called Lucas here in Rengadai, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. You just told me about it. Do you know the boutique Rosa Candida? It seems you can actually buy real armor there. Rumor has it their quality and prices are average. Alright, so I've heard that armor is this year's trend. A rube was here talking about it until a moment ago. Uh, who was talking about armor? Do you have any other rumors? Uh, oh, cool. Magazine sweepstakes rumors. Do I have any rumors more to give you? I actually don't know. Tama Tamaki at Kuzuno Detective Agency is a real devil summoner. Is that an actual job? I've never heard of it. Hmm, alright. Alright, my turn. You know the magazine sweepstakes? It seems people win real weapons and rare items. It's hard to win, but the prizes are good. Oh, that's cool. So we can actually get weapons and stuff through this sweepstake thing. And then we have the moo rumors. Let's just get that out of the way. That rumor, eh? Alright, well then. Would you mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I don't, whatever rumor. There's a gun woman thing or whatever. Oh, so demons really do exist. Now, there's, now that's far-fetched. I personally think it's more likely that evil lurks in people's hearts. Well, you're not wrong. Demons technically are the manifestations of people's evil desires and yada yada yada. You know, whatever. Well, my turn then. Do you know a large arcade in Yumizaki called Moo? No, I do not. I don't even know what Yumizaki is. It seems they offer real gambling at Moo. The rumor is that poker is the easiest game to win. I actually don't know how to play poker, so I don't think you're right about that. <laughs> That's all the rumor I know of. I'll tell you more when a new one comes in. Make sure you have some interesting information ready for me. Alright, so that's all we can do with him. Uh, yeah, so actually he was the person I was coming here to talk to. Who are you then? Having your ordeals granted is nothing special. I thought it changed my life, but everything is too much of a pain to bother with now. Oh, that's, that's cool. Hey, did you hear the rumor? That ghost Hanako is supposedly haunting Sevens. It's kinda scary, but uh, I'd like to see if it's real. Yeah, it's real, I destroyed her. Alright, so I think that's all we have to do here, so let's go back out. Alright, so now that we're done with Hin Honmaru Park, let's get out of this region, and we are not going to Yumizaki just here. We have to make a stop over in Hirasaka, and head over to Kamaya Alley, which is, I think, over at the end? Yeah, alright, so over at Kamaya Alley, we gotta go to Gaten Sushi. Gaten Sushi. Mm -mm. Oh, I love the music for this place. I know I know I've said it in the previous videos how much I love like persona music is so good but like Persona like, I really love personas 2 music. Oh, yeah, I remember Toro. Hey there. It's you. I'm on fire today as usual But I'm not full yet. What can I do for you? Do you have any rumors for me? What do you want to know? Wow, you do have some rumors for me. <laughs> Jeez All right. Well weapon shop rumors give me in ring Are you gonna give me the same rumor? Sure, bro. Tell me first, first. Tell me what you know. Uh, do I just tell him the same thing I told the other guy? Whoa, the principal at seven suddenly grew some hair? Hmm, I wonder if that's his request for Joker. Oh, yeah, so you're- t wait, you said high quality. Okay, I think they're getting better because he's giving me better rumors. Okay, that's cool. The first guy created the place selling weapons and he's making them better. What am I telling him? I think I'm telling him about the clock, yeah. What, huh? Something terrible will happen if the clock at seven starts again? 
Oh, that's pretty out there. Well, here's what I know. Rumors rose that Candida sells real armor. Reasonable prices, but low quality. Okay, this time, reasonable prices, but low quality. Hmm. Let's do the other rumors. Yeah, the magazine sweepstakes. Uh, what I what am I telling him about? Um, crap. Oh, the Devil Summoner. Tamaki is the Devil Summoner. Um, yeah, you can win rare weapons, rare items. Prizes are very rare. And then uh, let's ask him about Mu. Now I'm gonna tell him about demons that they exist. I mean, the fact that the Devil Summoner is a thing, I presume. Oh, wow. Of course, like the one that I do remember is the one I get wrong. Wow, the boss at Cus High is trying to start a band. And he's gonna be the vocalist? <laughs> Seems like a pretty common scenario. Wait, where's Cus High again? Oh wait, that's where uh, Mi Michelle is from, right? Or whatever, that's his school, I think. Um, you can make money tiny on the slots. All right, cool. Well, that's all I needed to talk to you today, Toto. So now we can head over finally to Yumizaki. So let's get on out of here. All right, so let's get on out of here. Let's head over now to Yumizaki. And it looks like part of what we're gonna be doing for the rest of this episode might just be, uh, let's explore the town. Let's talk to these people. Yo, you here to have some fun too? Course you are, Yumizaki's the district for kids. Wall to wall entertainment. Moo, the hottest amusement center. Giga Macho, a record store with the recording studio. And I'm a Moondi, home of the latest fashions. Guy my age could easily spend an entire day here and never get bored. And the girls here, woo, eh, eh. All right, well that was, that was a fun voice to do. <laughs> Let's go talk to this person. Um, hmm, are you hitting on me? If you are, I hate to break it to you, but I'm a little busy. Oh, you weren't? <laughs> Sorry about that then. Uh, that reminds me, do you go to Cus High? Because I saw a group of Cus High kids going into Zodiac a moment ago. Do you know what they're up to in there? Why do you, why, why do you care? Like, I thought you were busy. Why do you need to know what other kids are doing? Hey, is it true the ghost of Hanako is haunting Sevens? Wow, the rumor really is spreading. Everyone's freaking, freaking out about this ghost. Hanako is that girl they tell ghost stories about at school, right? Oh wow, I want to see her. I, do you, I don't think you can go into my school unless you actually go to my school. It never rains, but it pours. That's how the saying goes, but come on. Hanako now? This has been one unlucky year for Sevens. Why does every- why? Is this like a Japanese thing? I just don't know how like how, about how high school like just like the rumors of high school are just going are just crazy. Everyone needs to know about it. So that's just all right. Whatever. Um, where do I have to go? All right, so I have to go over to Central Avenue, which I think is actually supposed to be this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Yumazaki Center. All right, so uh, let's see here. So, Peace Diner is where we're supposed to go, but let's check out the shop. So, this episode, we're pretty much just going to be looking at the shop, so we'll probably end up at the Peace Diner. So, let's see what we can get. If there's anything of importance that we want to get in these shops. So, let's go over to Tony's shop first. Wow, Tony's shop is just like a stand. Alright, cool. Let me talk to Lisa. So I'm gonna be honest, Lisa's starting to grow on me. I kind of like Maya, Maya over there, but like, I was like, I remember I said I was very much against Lisa because she had this huge crush and told everyone I was her boyfriend. I was like, no, but I don't know, I kind of like her. That reminds me, Miho and Shiba, or Sheba? Sheba would be the name, right? Because it's Japanese, so, but Meho or Mi, Miho and Shiba, I'm gonna just use that. Miho and Shiba used to drag me to the shop a lot. It's not like he ever changes up the stuff he has. It's so stupid. Okay, wait, do you do you say anything different again? No, you just kind of say this thing. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Maya, would you... My, ooh, this dolphin bridge is so cute. Ever seen a real dolphin, Tatsukun? I saw them a lot when I used to go scuba diving. Ugh, I hate... Sorry, this game freezes up every so often. Ugh, which reminds me, it's been a while since I went. I've been so busy with work. Uh, hey, girl. I've always been so crippling shy that I couldn't even talk to anyone, but now all that's changed. I asked to become outgoing, and then I made up my mind and asked him how. Ah, there's a, there is a god. We already have pet names for each other. He's Poppy, and I'm Mummy. Don't we sound like a married couple already? Ah, life is good. You guys are creepy, but that's cool. Whatever. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, I'm on my first date today. She suddenly asked me out. I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous. 
She's the one who suggested we come here too. I, I thought I had no chance with her because she'd always avoid me, but <laughs> this feels like a dream come true. <laughs> Somebody pinch me. Aw, oh, young love. How oh, nice. Hmm. Oi. The accessories how you have style. I like a lot of his stuff. But I doubt you'd understand, Tatsia. What you trying to say? I'm stylish. I'm hip. I'm cool. What you trying to say? Hey, Mmm. Oh wow, that face, that's great. Is this stuff really that stylish? Aikichi seems to be in love with them, but I don't see the appeal. Alright, let's talk to this guy. What do you what do you got? What do you got for me? Whoa, dude. Mmm. 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 Whew, that nose. Um, I mean, hi. Oh, welcome, mister. I'm a good exchange student. Oh, trying to, he's a foreigner. Gotcha, okay. I'm a good exchange student. Or is he? No, no. He's just exchanging goods, I think. He's not a foreign exchange. I don't know. Whatever. I'm a good exchange student. I make the accessories, and for my living, I sell them. Let's talk to him real quick. What you want to know, mummy? Let's, let's make small talk? I know how to buy. Hello, mister. Thanks for coming. What do you think? Uh, good, isn't it? Th these are these are all of my art pieces. Very, very trendy, very hip. I make each one of these by hands. Buy them all. What you think? I give a good discount for the girls. All right. Well, what accessories do you have? Uh, okay, you got that, which increases agility. Uh, hmm. Does this affect anyone? I mean, it looks like we would all still be. I don't see this affecting any of us, so... Uh, let me buy... No, you know what? I want weapons. Let me go back. Let me let me not buy random shit yet. And let me... Let me go over to the other server. You go already? Oh, so sad I am. You come back again soon, I hope. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a foreigner. Because, like, they're trying to give him that broken English because he's supposed to be speaking broken Japanese. Alright, so let's go to Anima Mundi and see what we can find over there. Wow. All right. So this entire area has kind of like a tropical Hawaiian feel. I'm pretty digging it, especially with a uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon coming out in the Alola region, getting in that mood. Oh yeah, you know the new leader at Cus High? I hear he's stronger than the old boss. I wonder what he's like. Wait, me Akichi is stronger than the old boss, or is there someone else who replaced Akichi? Looks like we're gonna have to stop by there soon. Oh, uh, are you hitting on me? <laughs> You're the eighth one today. Like fish in a barrel. Are you a girl? A Kimmy? I just want to know the voice. Having him make me cute was a great idea. You're probably a girl. Being a normal high schooler wasn't making me enough cash lately. Guess it's worth listening to rumors sometimes. <laughs> Are you, like, selling your body? I mean, that's cool. I don't really care. I mean, unless you're, you're a high school student, which there might be some legal issue. I don't actually know what the age of consent is in Japan, but... Alright, whatever. I'm like, I'm... You do you. Whatever. I have bigger fish to fry right now. Ooh, you're so cool! Wait, what school do you go to? Sevens? Then you suck. Cuz high is the best now. Whoa. Did some- Okay. Mm-mm. They made- They made Cuz high better? Who, who started that rumor? Who started that rumor? Sevens is old and busted now. I'm bored with those guys. I'm with a boyfriend from Cuz high. It's like, I'll take anyone who goes there. Uh, oh, hey, Kichi. You wanna- Wanna get on that? Kichi's from Cuz high, right? I'm not, like, crazy. Wait, doesn't my, like- It'll just tell me, right? Let me just see. Michel Kasugayama High. I presume because he's the vocalist in the band, they were saying that for Kus High. I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume he's from Kus High. Why not? I don't. Whatever. It doesn't even matter to me. I wonder how he'd react if I wore something like this. <laughs> Ooh, who will react? Please tell me, Yukino. I will. I want to know. Hmm? Oh, 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 it's you, Tatsuya. Didn't see you there. Sorry. I I was just talking to myself. Uh huh. You keep doing that. What? What's with this old lady? Why is she hitting on my Tatsuya? I kinda hate her now. Wait, what are you talking about? Who's hitting on me? No one no one even said anything to me. <laughs> oh, the girl over there, whatever. <laughs> Oi, looks like that girl over there is into Kasai students. Chalk another girl up to my sinful charms. I wonder sometimes if I know Koja-san would think better of me now. Hmm, I'm not the kid I used to be. Whatever, Akichi. I don't even know what you're talking about half the time. Well, these clothes are see-through all over. Here and, and here, too. I can't wear these. I'm sure you can, Maya. I'm sure we, were all, we would all be fine with it. It's like the saleswoman. What is it you want to discuss? Make some small talk. 
Hmm? You're a high school student. Seventh, right? Ah, I see. Uh, I was just appreciating how cute you are. Oh, that's why Lisa's mad. <laughs> so, what do you think of our clothing line? Yumizaki is the birthplace of fashion, after all. Aren't they all wonderful? I mean, I'm gonna lie, I kinda like what you're wearing with the whole collar thing kinda going on there. I, I, I dig it, I dig it, I like what you're doing there. I, I, I can go, casual shirt. Wow, well I'm not buying that though, because that is trash. <laughs> it's weaker than anything I have, so uh, let's, let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's go to my favorite shop. Satomi Tadashi! I remember, do I like the old song better or this one? I think I like the old song better. Wait, doesn't it change per store? It probably changes per store. All right, let's 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 continue. I don't want the episode to run too late with me talking to everyone. Oh yeah, I should buy some medicine for my friend. She always goes too far with her training and ends up hurting herself. Wait, who's your friend? You mean like, Yukino? You know, just buy for her. Oh, I like the song. I kind of like it. I can dig it. Oi, what's up, Tatsuya? Looking for at this selection of health food. Then forget that one. It's low calorie, but it tastes like garbage. This one over here is pretty good though. Alright, you know, I, I kind of like Akichi, I don't know. I, I keep going back and forth with him. Hey Lisa, what's up? <laughs> Yukino-san's been looking really seriously at the health food corner. I wonder if she's worried about her looks too. Okay, well let's let's ask her. Let me just be a friend with her. I was just looking at the health food, um, and Akichi recommended some for me. Why in the world does he know so much about them? I don't know. Should ask him about that. I don't really care. This guy's been crying the entire time. His girlfriend left him for a cuss high student. He seems more miserable than pitiful now. Is it a must for men these days to be cool? But the looks of things, I guess so. Well, I am like the epitome of cool. I mean, look at me. I'm like, look at me. I'm super cool. <laughs> I finally got a girlfriend, but a kid from Kazai stole her. <laughs> oh god, whatever. I don't care. Yee, hello, and welcome to Satomi Tadashi. So will it be. Let's talk to the sister. So what do you want to know? Let's make some small talk. Mm-hmm, <laughs> people always say us managers of Satomi Tadashi all look the same. Well, of course we do. We're the tablets after all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that alone isn't enough of a hook to make the store stand out. That's why. That's why every branch plays different music. I was right. Each branch does play different music. We're relying on these songs to moraine rush. <clears throat> I mean, win over people all across the country. <laughs> well, what can I buy from you? So we got some medicine. I already own ten of them. Rattle drink, two hundred HP. I might buy some of that. Let me. Uh, let me buy like five of them. Yeah, buy five. Uh, uh, what about, oh yeah, I can just add them up and bead. We got none of them. Fully revived, but that's 2,000. I'm gonna save up. This is for spirits. Uh, I'll buy two. And then Balm of Life fully recovers. Antidote. My time playing Pokemon has taught me to stack up on status things. That's uh, six of these. Three. Uh, oh, and I want one of them. Sure. Do I need to buy all of them? Probably not, but you know, I I, I want to be safe than sorry. Alright, can I use the sweep save thing right now? Let me see, where is that? I don't know how to enter it. Do I talk to her to enter it? I don't know. I won't bother with it, but... Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go to the next door. Oh man, I love that song. Alright, so next one is Bikini Lan. Let's go there. Um, should be our last stop before we end the recording. A tanning salon that cures disease? Isn't it usually the other way around? Or have rumors also done something in this place? Oh, that's powerful, actually. Talk to Lisa. If you sit under the lights here, your wounds and even diseases get cured. That's what a classmate of mine said anyway. Mm, don't you think if you want a tan, you should hit the beach? I don't really like this fake tan stuff. Uh, I suppose. I mean, I can't. I'm naturally tan, so I, I don't really get it either. Oh, I don't get people who do this stuff. What are they gonna do if it leaves behind liver spots? Brr, unbelievable. Well, that's because you're like pale as a ghost, Daikichi. Let's be let's be for real. That shopkeeper said he used to be a tennis player who made nationals. But oh no, your expression. Let me let me let me do the tone right. That shopkeeper said he used to be a tennis player who made nationals, but look at his body. 
It has to be a lie. Why, the other day, he was going on about how their special light cures wounds and diseases. How gullible are these girls to believe that? You know, he probably does heal because rumors, so like, legit. Let's go. Wow, that dude, you are, look at that creep face. That is some, that is some extreme creep face right there. I'm, I mean, look at that, look at that. Look at, that. Look at them cheekbones, just like, mm, oh, that, that's, all right. Hey bro, how's it going? Check me out. I'm a cool or what? Uh, anyway, welcome to Bikini Line. Which course did you have in mind today? So, what you in the mood for? I was gonna give him like a surfer voice, but nah, not with that, not with that face. Oh yeah, what should we talk about? People say tanning beds are bad for your skin, but not here. We use a special light. Not only does it give you an amazing golden coating, it's good for your health. We can heal any wound or disease in an instant. Uh, beside it for you, yeah, we're not, we're not in pain. So, um, all right. So, I think that's it for us. Well, next up is really just um the velvet room, which we have no reason to go to, and the peace diner, which we'll go to in the next episode. All right. So. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I release content, hopefully Monday through Friday, and that's what I'm planning to do from this point forward. Um, with a variety of things, currently I'm doing uh, Pokemon Zeta, Pokemon Insurgent, and I'm doing uh, Persona 2. And in between, I'm doing some one-offs, maybe some horror things or whatever. I'm figuring some stuff out. If you guys have any suggestions of any games you want me to play, whether one-offs or Let's Plays, please let me also know in the comments below. All right, well, I'm going to get going. Uh, because I'm, this episode is probably already long enough as is. Alright, so thanks very much you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Take care.